I like dark elves for different reasons. Um, maybe the first one was the look. Come on, ash, skin, color, red eyes. And when I grow up, I want to be a vampire because I hope I can get infected by a vampire and go around. And I find a lot of similarities in between me and dark elves because they are quite misanthropes, but at the same time, they value family and, um, and they love you know, the people they have around. I also pierced my ear because I really like elves, not high elves, because they think they know everything. So dark elves all the way. I really like to fight, but it's always a, a nonsense fight because I'm not quite good in casting spells and stuff like that. So I have my two hand swords and I just go around and, you know, it might seem weird, but being unpredictable sometimes is a good thing because some of the some of the reactions are unexpected and this is what I like the best I'm not very good at casting spells the first time I've heard about Elder Scrolls online uh, was a little bit later uh, in the progression of games and it was when I started to play Skyrim now I have it on my switch I I play not every day because being so busy uh, sometimes, you know, I need to take breaks, but it's always fun to go back to, to, to the game. And after Skyrim, I remembered that I, I witnessed Oblivion as well. So I found out that they were connected. And I've heard about this game online and I was like, why don't I try to play and interact with other people and see how I can do? And that's how it started. There are a lot of things that are really intriguing about ESO. First of all, the story. The story is massive, so every day I discover something new about how it started, even just about my characters. There is so much to discover, and it's just cool to live another life in your real life, to create your own character, you can completely personalize it. And this is so cool, because isn't this the thing we all want when we play video games? We want to play something different from our regular life because unfortunately there are no characters like this in real life but it, this is cool this is what i enjoy a lot it is not that i feel like home on eso i feel i feel i'm in a different world so i i feel i'm somewhere safe but i like the fact that i can live in a completely different world i love to explore i love to go around i love to see magical things that are not existing in real life and this is the fun of it. I don't feel like home. I feel I am living a different life in a different world and I think this is the good thing about the game. You want to feel somehow safe but you want to do something different that you wouldn't be doing in a regular day in regular life. So I think this is just cool to explore territories that are not really existing but they are there for you. About the Elder Scrolls, there are so many things that I, that I like. I like the fact that you can wander around for hours, even without a plan, but at the same time you can follow missions, uh, daily quests. If you like, you can join guilds, which I didn't do yet because I, I like better to play solo. Misanthrope. But um, it is just cool to, to see the graphics and there are portals to go somewhere else. You meet a lot of people, you can have conversation, you can interact with other people online. So it's a all around fun experience. I can see that I like Skyrim uh, as the best part out of Tamriel because this is you know the game I, I play the most. But Dark Elves are from Morrowind, which is by the way, close as well. So I will go with Morrowind. Go Elves. <laughs> My play sessions are basically a sequel of Curses, which I shouldn't say, but you guys know. You guys know it's like that. So I just sit down on my couch, turn on the console and everything. I start the game and then I go looking for enemies and I just try to cut everything I find and loot sometimes. <laughs>